on this official acts point of it, which is the main debate, I mean, to me, sometimes I, I wish I was a lawyer because I wish I understand some of these things more. But in this case, I think it's helpful not to be sometimes because you look at it and you say, this seems ridiculous that, you know, as a non-lawyer, that you can order the assassination of someone and somehow that would be allowed, you know? But, but, but pick up on that. I, even as a lawyer, I think it's it's somewhat confounding because it, it if the justices were to rule this way uh, and draw a line between an official act and a personal act, you're then setting up that there needs to be some threshold determination of if there is an official act, if whatever the, right. the charge is, is an official act or not. And so in the case of, for example, a murder slash political assassination, somebody needs to make that dis determination, and it would remain to be seen whether that would be made by a judge as a legal issue or by a fact finder. Well, I wonder if the, is the line between be just being a president, taking acts as president, and being a candidate for president, and w would that be the line? Because it seems to me a lot of these actions after the election were being made as a candidate. If he was someone running from the outside and the 2016 race, it, wouldn't it be the same as someone running from the inside and for re-election in 2020? And you raise another really good point there, Connell, which is that um, it would be giving an advantage to the incumbent uh, candidate right. who would be able to take certain actions with immunity, whereas the opposing candidate would not be able to take those same actions. Um, and that's I, that's not something that I believe came up during the um, argument before right. the court today. But it could go back, like Kelly said, to the uh, lower court. I mean, that seems to be the bet people are making. Which again, that's a that's a political win for Trump, not about legal, but uh, no matter how long it takes. I want to ask. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.